Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial which is the seventh part of the tutorial series whereby we are creating a PG routing application GeoServer and Leaflet.js and this application should be able to give us the shortest path between two points so that when you click on a map point A and point B we should be able to get the shortest path between these two so last time we were able to describe the SQL views that you are going to use so we say that we are going to use the nearest vertex SQL view and the shortest path uh, shortest uh, shortest path SQL view the nearest vertex view should be able to take in the click point on a map which is uh, x x and y the longitude and the latitude and then it should be able to um, get the nearest node that from the data from the edges noded uh, vertices table it should be able to um, do some logic and then determine which uh, which vertex is nearest and then return this point so that we are going to use it in the subsequent calling for the shortest path so uh, we are going to start with that the nearest vertex uh, sql view and so if you go to we are going to do that in GeoServer. so if we open our GeoServer and then on the layers uh, on the layers window we are going to the way to add an sql view it's a layer but it's a custom layer so we're just going to say add layer and then select the store that we need and then configure the new sql view and the view name we are going to give it nearest um going to call it nearest nearest vertex this is the name of the sql view uh vertex and then now we are going to write the the sql statement that's going to be run on each request so uh, the statement that we are going to use is select v.id v is just uh, the placeholder i'll explain what it does v dot the job this is the data that we need to be returned if i can format this correctly v dot id and then we also need v dot the the job um selecting this from the Ages, ages noted vertices. Um, PGR. This is the name of our table that we are selecting from. Where we'll select the vertices from, and then as V. So this is the V that we are using here. Yeah. And then we also want to select from the ages uh, noted as E. And then now the logic where I want uh, v dot id to be um, using this uh, select logic, we want to get the nearest vertex that is closest to the input the the point that we receive the parameters that's x and y. So we need to create a point using a post this function and then. Uh, use the uh, post uh, another function in post -gis to get the closest uh, the fuzzy or rather the closest uh, point to this point that we received so uh, do that we are going to do select and then we say select id and then from ages say no dead uh, vertices no dead vertices pgr then you want to order the result by the closest one and then limit by one so we are going to use the jom to do that this is doing a fuzzy selection with post g so i think you can you can look uh, in post g for this this function that I'm just about to write this symbol is used to show the fuzzy or the nearest um, nearest point so then I'm going to set st I want to make sure that the data that is uh, the points that I want to convert that I want to use to select is in geographical coordinates so I use the the st function to set the SRID and then 
I want to make a point from the given given the given parameters so the way to no no to represent the parameters using the percentage and then the percentage symbol and then i have x i want to receive the x to represent the longitude and y for the latitude so I say that and then the coordinate to use for the st set ID is 4326 so make sure you type that and then i want to limit my results by I want to only pick one so i'm going to order them here by distance then the one that is closest using this fuzzy function and then and then uh, um, order them according to distance and then i want to pick the first one which now will be the closest one and this is the one that we, we should return back and then um we want also to oh to have an and so we say and want the e um the e that this the no edges node table the one that is matching to be should match either to the source or the target should be e dot source from the edges node table or uh, e dot target so it can be the beginning or at the end of uh, um, an edge right so uh, yeah of that segment the beginning of the segment or the end so that's what it means by the source or target so it should match so it should be equal to the v dot id the one that we have selected and then e dot target uh, up here we should say or we should match any one of these or e dot targets mm. it's close to e dot id and then you want to group the result so that we have it grouped v dot by the id and v dot the the jump yeah, so if we can go through this to see if we collect so we select the id and the zoom from the edges noted vertices pgr this is the name of your vertices table so make sure it's the correct one and the edges noted one make sure it's the correct one as e where well, this is now the logic to select the id from the edges noted vertices pgr table then order by the nearest one Right, so set make the point get the parameters to use to make the point set the srid then limit by one and the e dot source should be equal to the id of the selected uh, selected node or the target should be the source or target and then group by the id and the jump yeah so you need to add a new parameter so let's call it this x and then Mm, can give it mm, something like 36 i know mine will be 36.02 and then uh, can add another parameter so the validation make sure it's a float and a float i'm just going to copy the validation i'd written earlier so yeah you can check on regular expressions to validate floats and then now uh, we're going to add another parameter so if i can save this first oh okay, i need to delete this then i need to add a new one why should be around negative i'm using nairobi data nairobi kenya so i know it should be around negative 1.03 it should uh negative one around it should not be very accurate you don't need to cram this you just need to give it some default value to use so that in case you don't pass anything it will, give, it will use this to calculate so this is a plot also i should copy that one and paste it there so once i'm comfortable with that if i save yeah so we have the the, the query uh, or rather the sql view configured so we need to now save it so um, the coordinate system is 4326 so if i save that should pick this one and then 
compute from um, compute from SRIC, compute from native bonds. Uh -huh. So other thing, it should give us back a point. So we should save that in the we should configure that, and then save it. Yeah, and um, once we save that, we should have our uh, our vertex, uh, our our SQL view up and running. So the way we can actually test this is to to actually get some data and use the browser directly before we create the map. So if we can look at our data, how it should look like. I uh, can preview it open layers. So if we go to layers preview, and then um, layer preview, look at the edges nodded open in, in open layers. This is how our data should look. And I know that's around some area here. So I want to see, let's say I'm in this area and I want to move to somewhere around here so this is the first point i would click and then the request will be sent to your server so let's try to get the nearest uh, node or the vertex that is nearest to this point so this point it's its coordinate is here i'm using your json.io yes uh, as you can see from here it quickly allows you to visualize um, your json data so i'll pick this this is my x um Okay, I'll mark this because I need them. But uh, first, I need to explain. Um, I need to explain what um, what how the URL will be formed. So if I go to my um, to what I had written earlier, so basically this is the complete URL that will be used to send the request to your server. Yeah. So the first part, of course, from here to here. This is the base URL for your GeoServer instance. And then this is the GeoServer WFS uh, parameters. And then this is now the, um, here you should give the store name and here's the SQL view name. So my store is routing and then the, 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 the view that, or rather the layer that I'm using is nearest vertex. And then the view parameters, these are now the ones that will be sent to the SQL view. We have the x which should be now be our um our point where we are where the user clicked and then the y is the latitude this is the longitude and the latitude and then the output we want to be in your json format so that we'll be able to send it back so we are going to input here so make sure you have no spaces go and pick this the x so we take this one and put it here Make sure you have no spaces around around there right and then the y uh, usually this one uh, you will need uh, uh, you won't like do this directly but you will do it through the leaflet application that we will build but for purposes of testing that's why i'm doing it here so i want to create the url make sure no space around that that's good now we are good to test this one out open a new window and then click there mm, and if we can confirm that everything is okay yeah yeah so you see this is your json data so we can add this to the map to confirm that um, we have the correct or rather the nearest one so we can just add a new feature make a duplicate and then edit so we don't need this so we are going to take this and paste it here yeah so we were we selected this but the server gave us back this point so in our data this is the node that we have or rather the vert the vertex that represents our data so the uh, your server was able to determine the nearest vertex to this point so this is say this was point a you repeat the same thing for point b um say you have another point uh, assuming this is our application you click point a the nearest your server found it to be this but you won't want to show this on the map but you will show it in the memory of your application and then um 
select another point maybe we say around here you want to move from this point uh, from this point to this point so you will do another selection here and your server will give you the result and then now once you have these two points you send them to the shortest path um, the shortest path uh, sql view that will create next right 